Hey folks, Ted here today with XBED and a little video on the care and maintenance of XBED sleeping mats. We spent a lot of time engineering, designing, and building really great mats so that you can have a good time out there, so that we can have a good time when we go out there on our trips. Unfortunately, most of the damage that can occur to a mat actually happens post-trip. Let me give you an example of why. We all go out on our adventure, have everything loaded in our pack, have a great, fantastic time, drive back to our house, we leave the pack in the car, or if we're lucky, we get out of the out of the car. We might even drag the pack in at the end of the day, throw it somewhere in the middle of the house, and then leave it there, go off to our busy lives otherwise, and then everything stays packed for the rest of the week. And surprise, when you open up later on, everything's been a little bit degraded. In fact, the very same things that we design all of our gear to protect you from, UV, moisture, sand and grit, excessive heat, all those things we design our gear to protect you from, are the very same things that kill a mat. So the number one thing you can do to extend the life and get all the value you need out of your mat is to go ahead and empty your pack out, dump out the gear, all of the gear, spread it out all over the place, take your mat, open up the stuff sack, pull it all out. You may think it's dry, but in fact, I know, having used many mats on many nights, that there's always a little bit of moisture that is on a mat with a condensation on the bottom of the tent or you've been using without a tent with the ground cloth, there's always a little bit of moisture. Pull the mat out, take it and throw it over the nearest chair, hang it up on a hanger, whatever you've got to do, but just put it there. Now if you're beaten tired, go off to bed. If you're very conscientious, you continue on with the maintenance of your gear. Take the mat the next day, I'll just assume you're tired and, and lazy like myself, take the mat, open the whole thing up, Pop the valves open, so you got some air moving through the whole thing. Spread it out and check it out to see if there are, is there any dirt, anything else that needs to be cleaned off of it. If there is something that needs to be cleaned off the mat, usually all you need to do is take a little bit of water and a sponge. Before you get the mat in your water, just go ahead and close off the valves like this. Take a damp sponge and just scrub off the dirt right there and you're set to go. <clears throat> then you go ahead, take the mat, once it's clean, then you go ahead and set it out to dry. And if you're doing this just as a steady progression, let the mat sit out overnight. Everything airs out. The next day you can go ahead and take it and finish up the process. And the next thing you're going to do at that point is check it out. If there, were anything, if there was anything that happened on the trip that you need to repair or fix, now's the time to do it because you don't want to go ahead and load it away. Forget about any repair that had to occur and then go out on your next trip and realize that you didn't take care of it. So now would be the time to fix that. Once that's done, it's time to store the mat. The best way to deal with that is to go ahead, my favorite way is to go ahead and take a hanger, slide the whole mat on a hanger, open the valves so that any air that needs to circulate can, and then just hang this inside of my closet, or take it and slide it underneath the bed. Those are really good places to store it. The only thing you should be aware of is cats, dogs, and maybe ferrets, I don't know. Keep it protected so you don't have anything attacking it while you're away. If you take these really basic, simple steps, your mat is going to last you a long time. Be ready for your next trip when you go out. Have a good one.